Well, hey there, everybody. My name is Mo Shang. Uh, today, I wanted to give you a little uh, tour around a, a DIY project I've been working on, the Groovicizer. on uh, an 8-bit granular synthesizer that uh, Peter Knight of uh, Tinker.it wrote for the Arduino development platform. It's called the Arduino, and I'll uh, put a link uh, in the notes uh, to the original code so that you can uh, go have a look and grab that. So what I've done is I've uh, taken the original Arduino and uh, I've added uh, a 16-step step sequencer to it. And let me show you a little bit. So you still have the original tone controls of the Arduino. But uh, you don't have uh, tone control anymore the way you used to. I've moved that to the right and this uh, potentiometer now has control functions, as you'll see in just a little bit. Okay, so how does uh, note entry work? Well, on these... Uh, one, two, three, four potentiometers, these knobs, uh, they allow you to enter your notes. So uh, if I hold down the first uh, the first button here, you will see the first LED lights on. If I hold the second, uh, uh, steps five to uh, eight are now indicated. Here you will be editing steps nine to 12, and here you'll be editing steps 13 to 16, and that's what those LEDs are supposed to tell you. <laughs> well, I only have the eight LEDs, so uh, we have to make do. So holding the first uh, button, you'll see that uh, LED is lit. That means now I'm going to be editing uh, the first four steps. So if I uh, spin my dial here, you can hear me adding steps. I'll just be randomly editing uh, or adding steps quickly to give you an idea. So we've done steps one to four. Second button will be steps five to eight. Steps nine to twelve. <laughs> okay, and it's a, a, a very ugly little pattern right now, but it was just to give you an idea. We can also add uh, rests and ties. Let me do a rest, for example, on the second step, turning it all the way anti-clockwise. So there'll be uh, a rest there now. Or I can do ties by turning it all the way uh, clockwise. So let me just add a whole bunch of ties now. So you'll hear uh, steps two to four now are tied. But the cool thing, well, uh, an, an upshot of uh, having only the four knobs is that you can uh, edit uh, a whole bunch of notes together. So if I want to edit steps 1, 5, 9 and 13 together, I hold down uh, all four buttons and then... And this way I can quickly make, uh, you know, a pattern like this and I can go in and then uh, edit individual notes, or, uh, you know, again, maybe just from steps 9 to 16. So now I've uh, basically just edited half, half of the pattern. Okay, that's it for now for uh, note entry. Let's go on to some uh, other functions. Over here I've got a pattern retrigger. And it's also a tap tempo, so... <laughs> okay, and that's uh, your tap tempo and re-trigger. Over here I've got a pattern reverse. 
So I'm holding in uh, this function button, this far right button, and uh, doing a, a double press like this. Reverse. I can shift the pattern up and down. Again, holding in the shift button and then and lowering it. Okay, and uh, I was talking about this note that now doesn't do uh, note entry anymore. Now it uh, it does uh, yeah, all kinds of uh, control functions. So here is, uh, with nothing held down, it is uh, uh, the duration of the pattern. So now it's playing 16 steps. I can take it all the way down to one. Two steps, three steps, four steps, five steps, all the way through to 16. With the shift button held down, this is uh, tempo. So you all the way down to. Okay, now with the shift button held down, the second uh, knob is going to control note duration. Third knob uh, control swing. And of course, you still have your uh, tone controls over here. You just have to go through the pickup value. And what makes it uh, potentially a lot more useful is that uh, there's also a pattern mode. So I've shown you this uh, shift button. Well, what you do now is hold down the first button and press shift and now you're in pattern mode from where you can re-trigger patterns. You've got memory locations from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You've got 8 memory locations and for each of those you can store a pattern, uh, you know, a 16-step 16, uh, 16, uh, pattern on each of these buttons. So to trigger one and it's uh, Quantize now, so we'll only trigger on the, on the first beat. Of course, in pattern mode, you still have tone control. And just hop out and uh, make the note duration a bit longer. We're going to swing all the way up, back into pattern mode. You can do things like uh, So like I said, it's uh, quantized to uh, the first sixteenth But if for some reason you want to re-trigger immediately You can hold down the shift and then just trigger it immediately To store a pattern, uh, let me hop out and edit this pattern a little bit so we can hear something else. Okay, back into pattern mode. So now I'm going to go to the, say the, I'm not sure where I stored things before, so just to be safe, I'm going to go to the fourth memory, and uh, to store it, I'll uh, say I want to store it on the first button here, I'll long press, and we'll start to blink to indicate that you're armed. If you want to exit and you don't want to save, you can press anything else, but just then store it, you would hit that same button again. And there's a little display to show you that it's stored. And that is the Groovicizer. Uh, I'll be posting the code for this uh, open source code, so you're uh, welcome to go in and uh, change it and play with it, or, you know, just uh, make your own Groovicizer.
uh, and also no doubt you'll be able to improve on it. I'm a, I'm a novice at coding, so probably loads and loads of stuff that you can optimize there. So a tour around the Groovicizer. Thank <laughs> you. 